In this video, we're going to talk about finding the inverse of a relation. Now, the inverse of a relation can be obtained by flipping all of the inputs and the outputs of the original relation. So let's find the inverse of this relation. Now, notice I've given the relation in terms of ordered pairs here, but you could have a relation that is given by an equation, right? Like an equation that involves x and y. Okay, so we have a, a relation here. Notice it's not a function, by the way, because the input 2 gives you an output of 5, but it also gives you an output of 1. Okay, so this is not actually a function, but it is a relation. So what is the inverse relation going to look like? Well, if we flip all these ordered pairs, so instead of 2, 5, if we put 5, 2, instead of minus 3, 0, if we put 0, minus 3, and instead of 2, 1, we'll put 1, 2, this is the inverse relation. Okay, now what does this have to do geometrically? Okay, well if we graph our original relation, if we graph the original relation, and notice in this case it just consists of these three ordered pairs, and notice also it's not a function, right? It doesn't pass the vertical line test here, it's, it's just a relation. But notice that uh, we have these three points, what would the inverse relation look like? Well over here is 2, 5, 5, 2 is going to be over here. Okay, 5, 2 is over here, and uh, 0, negative 3 is going to be down here, 0, negative 3, and 1, 2 is going to be right here. Okay, so what do we notice about the relationship between the original relation and the inverse relation? Well, if we look at the line y equals x, which I've drawn in here, uh, notice that 2, 5 is the, is the, 5, 2 is the reflection of 2, 5 across that line. And 2, 1 and 1, 2 are reflections of each other across this line. And same thing with minus 3, 0 and 0 minus 3. They're, they're reflections across the line y equals x. So if you take your original relation, whatever it looks like, and you flip it across this line y equals x, you get the inverse relation. Okay, so again, the inverse relation is obtained by flipping all the inputs and outputs. Now let's suppose we have an example where we're given uh, an equation uh, an equation for the, for the relation. Okay, so suppose we have y equals x squared. How can we find an equation for the inverse relation? Well, remember, all we're doing is flipping the x and y coordinates, so the relation is going to be x equals y squared. So basically, everywhere you see an x in the formula, put a y, and everywhere you see a y, put an x. So x equals y squared would be an equation for the inverse relation. Now look, let's look on Desmos here. We have I've graphed y equals x squared, which we all know what the graph of y equals x squared looks like. Now what about the graph of x equals y squared? Okay, notice it looks like this over here. Okay, and if we were to graph y equals x, we can see these are reflections of each other. Right, the blue and black graphs are reflections of each other across this line y equals x. Okay, they're inverses of each other. And notice how simple it was to find the in, an equation for the inverse relation. We just flip the x and y coordinates. Now here's a little bit of a messier example, but it's still going to be very easy to find the inverse relation. So we have this equation here that represents a relation. So different values of x are going to correspond to certain values of y. Okay, and we could graph this relation. It'd be kind of hard to graph it by hand, but we could use you know uh, an online calculator to try to graph this. But what would the be what would be the equation for the inverse relation? Well, it's going to be very simple. We just do three x plus y to the fourth equals y squared x plus 5. So notice all I've done is changed the uh, the x's and y's. I flipped the x's and y's. Everywhere we see a, saw a y we put an x and everywhere we saw an x we put a y. And this is the graph of the or this is the equation of the inverse relation. Now if we were to graph this equation and graph the original equation they'd be uh, flips of each other, reflections of each other across the line y equals x.